Hi Palm Pre fans, this is Alan and today I'm going to teach you how to root your Palm Pre to get anything you want onto it. So first, you're going to start off at this page. I have this website on the link on the side. Okay, so go down to number one right here. It's going to say download the Palm SDK. Click it. And right here it's going to just ask you for your name, last name, email, and just confirm your email. Because right here Palm's going to send you the SDK you need downloaded. Once you have that down, it's going to say this right here. It's going to have this one. Just keep it right there wherever you want. You can put it away in a folder or whatever. And then just open. Let me see. Go back. And now go to step two. Um, this is going to install onto your computer. So if you're using a Windows, click this one right here. And just follow the steps right here. Like step by step. Really easy. So first, just download the, uh, the latest version of... Um, Java and then um, from there download VirtualBox and once you have VirtualBox down you have this one right here and once all both of those are down just open it up again just follow the steps then go back and now what you want to do is open your Novcom on Windows um, click it and this is gonna is so you can download the SSH file onto your Palm Pre and if your page kind of looks like this, um, I'll have a link in the description so it can look like this one right here. More steps. So let me close down the other one. Okay, now what you want to do is open your start. Um, put, type in CMD. Hit enter. And now copy and paste this right here. Copy. And paste it onto the command prompt paste and on me it says it was not found because I have a 64-bit system and if you have less it would it's gonna just keep on going just and let me show you right now but if you have a 64-bit system like me what you want to do is modify this part of the code that you're typing in so after files click space and type this in right here and the rest keep it the same so let me copy all this right here Copy, make sure, see, I missed the little part. Copy the whole thing. Copy, then paste, and hit enter. And now it's going to pop up that. So it's going to tell you exactly right here how it's going to look like. And under that one, novcom, get that one where it says type, copy, paste, and then go down to the next one. Copy paste and go down to this one right here copy paste and it's going to be downloading all this little information and once it's done let me see hmm let me copy this one again real quick copy paste and there hmm. okay and now it's gonna it has to just like this once it looks like that just copy this part right here paste it and okay okay now it's gonna ask you for a username once all that's done type in a username um let me type in, instead of Alan for chaos I'll Alan to chaos whatever you want just type it in hit enter it's gonna ask you for a password um let's put i'll put qwerty just like that you can put whatever you want again and it's gonna say bad password two week um just retype it again hit enter and it's all gonna go through um it's gonna check if there's any updates on it and it's going to tell you setup complete once you have that down close it and now you want to open the command prompt again let me scroll this down a little bit okay open your no you want to open your putty now p u t t y open it it's going to ask you for a ip address now what you want to do is get your pre open your wi-fi and once your Wi-Fi pops up, click it. 
let it wait. Okay, now right then the first row it's gonna say one nine two point one six eight and from there it's gonna change on yours but on mine it says point one point two. Type that in right there. So one nine two point one six eight point one point two. Then um, go to the next one where it says port, and for your port, it's going to have it right here. Type in 222. 222. Hit enter. Wait for it. Give it a second. And it's going to say login as and put your username. For me, it was Alan2Chaos. It's going to ask for a password. So type. And for me, it was QWERTY. Enter. And now. Basically from here just type in like S U D O S U and the little takeaway sign. Like I'll have it in my other videos, I'll explain more about this. Hit enter. And it's let me see. Okay. And the first time it's gonna show you all this. And now type in your password one last time. QWERTY for me. And from here it's gonna say root castle and V A R uh, forward slash home forward slash root. Once you're here, you can do you can modify anything you want on your pre. I have more videos, so if you want to check out those videos showing you what you can do to your Palm Pre, like go for it. Just make sure when you're on this, you don't have to have it connected. Just make sure you have your phone turn off. Make sure it's on while you're doing this. Don't let it turn off because then it's because it has to do while your Wi Fi is on. And yeah, and just if you have any questions, just write to me, email me at allen 4 at gmail.com. And yeah, just have fun with this, okay? Bye.